we as doctors, we get these new patients that come in and we think, oh, it's a new patient. It's not a new patient to chiropractic. It's somebody who's been to multiple chiropractors, but the other chiropractors weren't able to solve their needs. So they're thinking if they find a new doctor, he's going to have a new program, a new technique. It's not. Basically, if you do it right, they're never going to go anywhere else and they're going to refer people, their friends. This is it. This is where the buck stops. Not the buck, but the mucho dinero stop. You know, this is where it starts because uh, if you don't get this, if you don't understand this, then you don't realize that you're you're selling at home. You know, you're selling to your wife, you're selling to your kids. If you're male or female, you know, whatever your spouse is, your partner, um, you sold them something for them to like you. You know, there's things that you can do to uh, at home that you can carry over into the business setting. So, so at one point when I was back in the '90s, you know, we had um, uh, 75 employees, and 30 of those employees were in the marketing department, and we had over a thousand leads coming in. So we knew how we we really did know how to, we had to learn how to sell. So out of a thousand people that we got every month, we qualified 500. And out of 500, we closed about 275 to 300 new patients a month. And uh, so you really kind of had to know your stuff. And it's not just your stuff. You had to have the personality for it too. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, okay? Um, the secret is there's no such thing as, the, as closing the cell. Um, there is only determining the need. So we need to find out when the person comes in, whatever your whatever service you're offering, no matter what you're offering service, um, you need to kind of look at why they're here. They they made the effort to drive there. You know, they 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 saw the voucher on Facebook. Um, they clicked on and they were interested enough to put in their information, their name and um, email and their phone number, and then they drove and showed up to your office. So when a prospect is convinced that you have the answer, then to their problem, then the sell is made. So trying to find that answer, you know, your role is not to sell, but to determine the needs of your, of your patient or client. You know, we got to identify the need, whether it's I'm in pain, I'm in pain. And uh, where have you been? You know, uh, you're coming to see us because you have, uh, you know, you're thinking that we can help you with that pain because we're here, we're open. Um, we do pain management. We do weight loss, neuropathy, decompression, these other kind of things also to help. Um, but we have to find out what their needs are. So remember, you're an educator. And that's why you need to have staff meeting every week because your, your staff need to be educated too. your front desk, your technicians, because your patients are going to talk to them probably more than they talk to you as a doctor. All right. Um, so the staff need to be educated. That's why every week you, you, we show them how to hook up patients like the front desk should be multiple, you know, multi-trained um, on everything that you do in your office. So if something happens and uh, somebody's sick or you got really busy, the front desk can, you know, take, a minute or two and help hook somebody up to therapy, um, this kind of thing. So, and they, they, they need to be well-educated on everything that you're doing. Um, again, a person comes in with a need, your role is to help that person find a solution. And if you don't have solutions, then you won't get the sell. So you need to have a solution explained to them in a way. And what I do is I show them testimonials. You know, I have show testimonials of people who have, who have had um, success with the different programs that we're offering. So that's showing them that we have a solution for that problem. Because if I can help these other people with whatever, you know, from pain to weight loss to neuropathy for decompression, uh, like decompression, I, a uh, lady was here yesterday and she uh, came in for, actually she came in for uh, contour, uh, inch, inch loss that we do, but she also has low back pain and her piriformis is killing her. So I talked to her about um, the lower back thing and I talked to her about how we can help her with her piriformis. So um, she said she's been to, you know, chiropractor and they've adjusted, 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 but um, it only lasts for, you know, a little bit. So we talk about the gut, the microbiome, like I've talked about before in my programs here or my uh, webinars. And so I, I did one session on her and um, then I, I showed her a video before we did the session of a lady who was going to have surgery in two weeks. And she came in, her last ditch attempt, she cried herself to sleep every night and we uh, showed her that video. So we showed her that we had the solution for this lady's pain so she didn't have to have the surgery. So again, you show them solutions to get them. And now how to, how to determine a need. Now, listen, if you listen to the customer client, remember you were born with two ears, only one mouth. The customer will tell you exactly what it will take for them to do business with you today. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So as I, as a consultant myself, um, you know, I, we coach these, I coach these doctors and there's a doctor back in New Jersey who couldn't close the cell. 
and he's gone he's been to the tony robbins all the training all the mastermind class for tony robbins and um he couldn't close the sale like out of 10 people he met with he closed like one like 10 percent. so i have my doctors record uh their whole presentation and their the sales the educational part of this well the problem was he talked 95 percent of the time he was telling them how cool he was and how he had all this training from tony robbins and he had i'm like dude people don't look people don't care how much you know people don't care how much you know right and he never got it so i said you know what you're not understanding it so i told him hire somebody that and let's hire somebody else because this is not you this is not for you to sell you know uh you're probably good with the patients adjusting but or is he you know so you know you need to find somebody who's going to who's going to be able to do that because if you're not able to do this find somebody who can do this okay so ask questions. Don't try to sell until you know exactly what the client needs. You find out, you find, you listen, you listen, you listen. You know, what's the problem? What's the situation? Ask open-ended questions. You know what that means, right? Open-ended questions other than a yes or no. Then share the solution. The cell really moves ahead when the client, the patient does the talking. People only want to know, again, that you can do to what you can do to help solve their problem. Open-ended questions. Tell me how, tell me what you've had before. What I like to do is ask, tell me about your past experience. Why do you think this wasn't working for you? Well, I've been here, I've been there, I've done this, I've done that, okay? Why do you think this didn't work for you? You know, because I like, it, when you ask questions like that, it really de de delves into the deeply um, that you really care about the patient and you're trying to get their answer. And then when they tell you, well, I, I think it didn't work for me because blah, 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 whatever. And then you say, well, I, I understand that and I, that I agree with that. That's probably why it didn't work because they didn't do this or that, A, B, or C. Um, and so again, it's, you know, it's um, asking and listening. Now, again, repeat back to the client customer what you're hearing and saying, reflective listening. Like, um, yeah, my back hurts. It goes down my leg and um, it's hard to walk. So, yeah, you know, tell me. So when your back hurts and it's going down your leg and your foot, what are some of the things that you cannot do when this happens? Well, it's an op it's an open ended question. Well, I can't do. Do you have grandchildren? Yes. How is it going and walking around the neighborhood or playing with your grandkids? Is that hard to do? So you want to bring this awareness that this is not okay. Now, other than just coming in, my back hurts, it goes down my leg. You, you, want to, you want to show them what they can't do because they have this. They can't hang out with their grandkids. They can't go on a walk. They can't even go around the block anymore with their dog. And so when you show them what they cannot do, instead of focusing on the pain, that really can help show them that you understand what they're doing, how, how it's really affecting. When they see that, how it's affecting their lives, all of a sudden they're like, um, yeah, this is really messing with my life and I don't like it at all. So always know clearly in, in your mind why people should buy from you. Know your products and your nutritionals. Sell benefits right? rather than features. People buy benefits, not features. Um, you know, this feature of this umbrella, it's got a sturdy end caps and heavy duty fabric and a silver tip. Well, big deal. You know, so our benefits are the fact that you're going to be able to play with your grandkids again. You know, within a few weeks, you're going to be able to go out and play with them, play, play, go on a hike with them. You know, what, what, what do your grandkids like to do when they come over? Oh, they like to go in the backyard and play kickball. Well, guess what? You're going to be able to go out in the backyard and play kickball. That's a benefit. And they're going to go, oh, I want to do that. They're like, where do I sign up? If you can help me do that, I'll pay you anything. Okay. Benefit. They see the value in that. Um, and how to determine a need. Now, for example, a feature will show a prominent part uh, or characteristic of the program. You know, we have a we have a decompression table and it's it's computer based and we strap you in and all this. But that's the feature. It goes up and down, you know, this and that. But yet the benefit will show the client again how the program will enhance their well-being and address their specific needs. So secret number two, turn that one time customer into a lifetime customer. You know, as doctors, we as doctors, we get these new patients that come in. And we think, oh, it's a new patient. It's not a new patient to chiropractic. It's somebody who's been to multiple chiropractors, but the other chiropractors weren't able to solve their needs. So they're thinking if they find a new doctor, he's going to have a new program, a new technique. Maybe he's going to have a new therapy device, a new laser, or a new, um, a new machine to help with whatever condition they have. Um, it's not. But if to, to basically handle them, and you're going to be, uh, if you do it right, they're never going to go anywhere else. And you're going to be really full and they're going to refer people, their friends. So step one, when listening, always direct the conversation. Sometimes, you know, when I, um, first thing what I do is I build um, this, um, 
we're going to talk about it many here, but we build some rapport here. So I don't like if you went to a regular allopathic physician, he doesn't ask you, hey, so what do you do where you work? So what, tell me about your family. Tell me. He doesn't ask. He doesn't do that. He doesn't get into you personally, but I do. I actually look on there. Oh, you live over there in, in the, in, on the East bench here. Oh, do you live by that one park? Do you ever go down and walk in that one park? Um, you know, no. Cause how would you like to be able to go walk in that park for exercise? I'd love to, but I can't because I have this sciatic. I have this, this leg pain. I can't do it. Well, that's a beautiful park. So let's do this. Let's have it a goal that you can get back and walk in this park. Right. Um, or golfing. Do you live? Oh, you're, you're by that golf course. Do you ever get out there and go golfing? No, I can't because my back, my lower back hurts. I can't swing the club. And every time I do, it hurts my back. Well, I'll tell you what, and I've even done this. If I can get your back so that it doesn't hurt when you swing your golf club, will you take me golfing with you? No, oh, I would do that in a heartbeat. See, that's how you build a lifetime customer, right? So keep listening and repeating the conversation until you have a clear understanding of the situation. And that's why I have to book out a whole hour. I have to book out a whole hour to, to meet with somebody the first time. Understanding and validate the problem. I understand, you know, that you're having this back pain, this leg pain. It's really, in, you know, and it's going to affect all these things that you're doing. You cooking at home, cooking in the kitchen. Not just that, but just doing things on the weekend, going with your family. And now's the summer, going to a reunion, going on a trip. It's going to really affect your trip. This is really not okay. You know, so validate their, what they have, what they're coming in with. Believe the client. Customers can overcome the problem with the correct solution. Um, you know, and then again, I show testimonials. Well, let me show you this other person who had the same kind of thing you did. Because if, if they can do it, I can do it. So if they see other people who can do it, who, who've been here and now they're here, that gives them more, um, more confidence to, to jump in and do the program because you've helped people do this before. So that's why the power of testimonials in overcoming sales objections. So I actually sell or show testimonials even before I, I show them how much this program is. I want them to get on the page where they're, they're like, like, like just the other day, as I last Thursday, you know, the lady was telling me, she's like, you know what? Okay, I've heard enough. Where do I sign up? I wasn't even done talking with her. That's, that, that's the kind of customer you want, okay? The ability to sell requires um, this, skill, commitment from a problem as a problem solver and focus strategy. So there's this thing called the ARC triangle. So what you do is you start doing communi communication. Communications um, is talking. You're talking, and then you're going to build this reality because you're going to be able to talk to them and say, oh, hey, you know, we went to the same high school or, you know, my kids go to that school or, you know, do you, are you a movie person? Do you like, is it hard for you to sit in movies, you know, uh, with your back and your sciatica? Oh yeah. What kind of movies do you like to go see? Well, are, are, do you like Marvel movies? Oh, I love the Marvel movies. You know, say, well, then you start talking about some of the new stuff, the new Marvel, the new, the new Iron Man, whatever. And now guess what? They, guess what that just did? That created affinity. And when they get, have an affinity toward you, because remember, they buy you as the doctor. They're going to buy you as a salesperson. And when they buy you, it doesn't matter what you're selling. They're going to buy it because they like you, okay? Individuals who can successfully sell tend to possess certain skills. First and foremost, they have the capability to understand or re relate to people as individuals. And secondly, they have the ability to match their products and, to, to, and services to the customer's needs. Communicate, relate, that's going to build affinity. The ability to sell, again, requires you have to be sensitive to the fact that you're always selling two products yourself and your solution to your prospective clients patients needs one must always focus and act in each client's best interest like a lady yesterday in fact i'm going to see her today she came in and sometimes it doesn't um she came in for um, a contour but yet she had again back pain piriformis syndrome um that's in the buttocks and she said, can you help me with this too? So I did the contour. She lost seven and a half inches. And I usually don't do this, but she also had some lower back. So I put her on the decompression. I did laser on her lower back and I, I did some decompression on her. And I, I, I said, I even told her, I said, you know, normally we don't do this, but I really wanted to show you how we can help you with your leg pain because this has been going on for a long time and, and summer's already started. Well, so I want to help you get you feeling better so you can start to enjoy the summer because she has a cruise coming up in a couple of months. And let's get you ready for that. So you sometimes have to go out of your way do some extra services. Oh, oh no, oh no. But, oh, I didn't get paid for that. Oh no, then why do it? See, if you're thinking that way, you just lost. Because if you give and give and give, they're going to feel like, oh, I need to get back. Okay. They're going to feel like you're, you're doing this because out of love of your heart. Remember, they want to know how much you care before they care how much you know. You got to, you just got to do this. You got to give, you may give stuff away. And so what? You've been given stuff, right? So the dynamics of, the dynamics of your relationship with your prospective clients are the keystone of successful selling. Because if you do something that other doctors have not done before, they buy into you. They're like, I, I don't care what he sells. 
If he's selling me a snow cone, I'm going to buy it. Okay. So building long lasting relationships. Functional level. Are you communicating to your prospective client patient? I want to, I want to help solve your problem like this little uh, cartoon thing. I want to solve all your problems. How? By telling you how to solve all your problems. Really? People don't want to be told how to solve. You should do it this way. No, you should do it that way. It would be better if you did it that way. You know, it's like a little two-year-old because I have a two-year-old. Um, his name is Luke. I go, that's good, Luke. That's a really good. Like if he's out, um, my wife is planting flowers last week, you know, in the front yard. And what in the, in the, anyway, she's planting his flowers and Luke goes up and just pulls it right off, like pulls the flower right off. And she's like, oh, thank you, Luke. Thank you for helping. I mean, you could just, you know, what are you doing? That flower, that's my favorite flower. You can't do that. So, but hey, Luke, can you, can you come over here? Here, let me give you the water. Hill. Can you put some water on these flowers? Cause they're really thirsty. Oh, he wants to do that. You know, same thing with adults. Um, you, you, you know, you could solve everything that they have your way, but that's not what your, your job is. Your job is to educate and lead them down this road. Like my job is to help them with uh, uh, nutrition, dietary changes. And, uh, you know, I can, you should do this. Don't eat what, foods out of a box, bag, or a can. Stop drinking soda. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Do it this way. Do it this way. And then, or you can educate them and, and help them by showing them what to do and then replace it with something else. You know, we got to get off your Diet Coke and then we're going to replace it with this. And so, in fact, we have a sample right here. Hey, hey, Linda, will you make up a sample of the chocolate shake? for Miss Linda here, because uh, uh, we're trying to get her off her the sodas, but it's really hard for her. But then we also have a product called Impulse and Craving Control that can help them get off this stuff. So we want to be able to coach them um, because Michael Jordan, you know, who who could coach him? Well, he had a couple of really good coaches, but yeah, he was, he, 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 uh, you're only as good as you are, but the coaches can help a ton by encouraging, encouraging and just kind of being that example. Here's an interesting. So Einstein, smart guy. Sometimes the easiest way to solve a problem is to stop participating in the problem. You know what? Law of attraction. You also focus on what you fear. You focus on what you attract. Um, you know, years ago, I uh, spent a lot of money going to this seminar, like 10,000, to learn how all the people around the world were um, in the past couple centuries, you know, the multi-billionaires, you know, what was their secret? It, it was the secret what they had and so they went through all this training for two days and we're like hey, we're waiting to hear what's the secret what's the secret and then they said i'll tell you that secret tomorrow so tomorrow sunday morning we're gonna we're I'm gonna reveal what they all did to generate wealth and income and the life that they wanted okay so we went to bed could hardly sleep that night so we get there the next day and we're listening okay we're ready we're ready and he said okay right after we get back from lunch i'm gonna reveal the secret the first thing i'm gonna do we're like are you kidding me we're going to hear it right now. So we get back from lunch and he's like, okay, you're ready. Here's the secret. Feel good now. I'm like, what the heck does that mean? Feel good now. So basically I use this example, like a woman who is at home and she wants to have a whole new kitchen redone, new cabinets, new granite countertop, and all this stuff. When that's done, do you think she's going to feel better being in her, in her kitchen? Yeah. Well, what if you felt good now as if that had already happened what if a guy's like you know what when i get my corvette i'm going to feel so much better and confident about myself midlife crisis you know no feel good now as if you already had that would you feel good if you just closed 10 new patients in one week yeah well act now as if you just did close 10 new patients in one week because that will attract all of that that will attract the positive energy and it will happen but if you also fear of things like, oh, I, I can't make, I can't pay me overhead. I won't be able to do this. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to get in a, a worse relationship. Well, that's what's going to happen. It's going you're going to attract that negativity in your life. So the goal is to, and how you're going to feel good now is you're going to work out. Like I went to the gym this morning. You're eating, you're eating good food. I'm drinking a great, uh, some of our uh, cardiovascular formula, enlarging, you know, citrulline CoQ10 for nitric oxide boost. And because if you're feeling good physically, that's going to help you feel good mentally. And that's going to come across in front of your patients. So if you're chugging a bunch of coffee and you're eating crappy food, you're stopping at McDonald's on the way to work, you're not going to feel good. And that's going to portray in your cells. So you're going to have to be better in life, physically, emotionally, mentally. You're going to have to be up here because everybody that's going to come in is down here. You have to be up here to bring them up here. 
Because if you're down here and they're even above you, you're not going to sell anything. Okay. So when you focus your selling efforts on the functional level, you are selling from the neck up. You know, uh, you're, you're engaged, you engage your head, not your heart. Now, you're using your heart rather than your head. The best is to blend both of these levels together. So combine your sensitivity to the customer as an individual with your sincere desire to help them be a problem solver, okay? Like you can say, been there, done that. Like, like I tell patients, you know, I was 350 pounds. I show pictures of me. Well, I'm looking up. I have a, I have it on my phone. Before. Anyway, I have it on my website, a before and after me. So I show them a before and I show them an after me because like I've been there, done that. So I, I used to say, I couldn't even tie my shoes. I used to have my kids tie my shoes because I couldn't bend over to tie my shoes. So now I know what it feels like to, to just sit there and want to vegetate, not even function in life. You know, I've been there. I know exactly what you're going through. So people like it that you've been there and done that. Number three, sell with some sizzle. People buy from people they like and feel connected to. Again, that ARC, affinity, communication, reality, and affinity. <clears throat> Be fun and outgoing. Smile, laugh, get, I love getting patients to laugh. You know, like uh, I'll tell patients about uh, the gut, the microbiome. So 23 years ago, um, I kind of stumbled onto this. They were doing fecal transplants. Exactly what it says, fecal transplants. They're, so basically they take the crap from somebody who's healthy or who doesn't need to lose weight and they take the bacteria from that and then they implant it into somebody who cannot lose weight. And right then I tell them, I said, I don't know about you, but I think that's a crappy deal myself, right? And then I even tell them, you know what, by the way, I wouldn't take crap from anyone, you know, would you? Plus it's thirty, forty thousand $40,000. So, you know, just get them to chuckle and laugh. You know, there's things, you, I mean, that's true what I'm saying, what I'm talking about, but you can, you can kind of make it so that it's fun and you're not so stiff necked and, and they're, they're, they're relaxed when they're around you. Um, again, be fun and outgoing, express interest. And that's why I like to build, build that common ground. Um, Rather than discounting, add value. So like um, personal will come in for a voucher. They'll come in for a, a, like a neuropathy voucher for a $60 voucher and they get, they get two treatments, right? And, um, and so what I'm doing is I said, you know, I, they come in and I said, I'll tell you what, uh, you come in and you bring, your, um, you bring in your husband on the next visit, I'll give you a third treatment. Um, and because I want to explain to him what it's going to be like taking care of you when they amputate your toes. You know, he needs to know he needs to be there, but I'm going to give you another visit. You know, you, you had two from the $60, but I'm going to give you one more because I want to show your husband what we're going to do. And because I take a picture of their toes before and after with a thermal imaging camera. So I, I'm going to show them, uh, give, them, give them an incentive to come back and they're going to get another visit, you know, um, instead of discounting anything. And, and also with proactive, you want to not give things away. Like I have one of my vouchers for $95. One of my vouchers is 95. You know, most, most vouchers are like 40 or, you know, $60. My neuropathy is $60. So again, that's going to, uh, that's going to kind of really, well, this, this person must know what they're doing because, because if you give it away for like 10 or 20 or $30, it might be like, eh, I mean, it's not probably going to worth, be worth my time. So other things you can do, like I was talking about, um, add things like body compositions like somebody comes in for a contour it's a it's an ultrasound machine you lose like one to three inches on one visit so i tell them i'll tell you what um i'm gonna i'm gonna give you um a, a body wrap because i want you to experience this we're gonna measure you before and after and then uh and then we're gonna talk about how much i'm gonna charge extra for this but i'm gonna give you one so you can actually see what it's gonna feel like and what it's gonna look like things like that um we used to do complimentary facials so whatever you're doing in your office, find something you can do. Because if you do something like a complimentary facial, um, yeah, you may have to get an esthetician there. You may want, not even want to jump into that. Um, but you're going to be ongoing education, education. So um, do you know that on the proactive app, you can send out education every week, you can either a text or an email. So I send out content every week, just educate the hundreds and hundreds of leads um, about things to be aware of and things to make sure you don't drink this, you know, but drink this, you know, how, how much water should you drink? You know, things like this. Patients love education. And if you're educating them, that's why they're going to be with you for life because you're educating them and they love what you're telling them. Um, become their retreat. You know, be, you know, a lot of women will go to, um, you know, like to get a, a facial or go to get a mani pedi because they love the atmosphere there they love the people and like my wife she'll only go to this one person to get her mani pedis and it's like i go is there aren't there other people there oh yeah but this one does it the best i mean 
See, she's already a lifetime patient at this place. Um, and anything else you can do, but sizzle it. Give them something that is a little bit cool. Because you've been to a place, they say, "Oh, by the way, you know, you're the you're the um, you know the fiftieth customer today, so we're going to give you a twenty five dollar uh, pass to uh, uh, used to download oh iTunes, give you a twenty five dollar iTunes card or whatever." I've been to places like that, like, "Oh, this is really cool." Um, so, to increase pro in, in, the end result is increased profits. So, be prepared for success. Products, knowledge, and the goals and goal setting are the key. So, you need to have some goals, like. Um, a goal not written is only a wish. So here, let me give you a little story. So there's a doctor. I don't know if it's Harvard or Yale, but he was teaching these students about the importance of goals. He said, I want you to write down these goals and I want you to review them every day. And we're going to come back to that in 10 years. So I'm going to follow up. So 10 years later, um, he contacted all these people, his students. I don't remember how many he was able to get a hold of, but um, only three of them were actually reviewing their goals every day. Those three made more money than all the 97% out there. Interesting. Making, you know, because if you don't know what you're trying, remember, it's it's an energy. You probably saw the secret years ago, the vision board, the vision board thing. You want to put up things like in our office, in the back office, we have like how many new patients we want to get a month. What's our goal? Because if we get us, if we get over like, you know, hundred thousand dollars, the staff gets bonuses too. So we want to write these down and have them not only in your house, but in your office. So the staff needs to see your goals too. They need to know why you're because they're going to get a bonus, so they're going to they're going to feel good about wanting to get these hit these goals. Okay, again, build confidence with your weekly staff meetings. You know, help teach them how to sell. Because I just a few years ago uh, I sold a program to a husband and wife, and uh, and they left and they went to talk to the front desk to get scheduled, to, and she was going to collect her money. And they're right at the front desk. They're going, I don't know, that's a lot of money. It was only like eight thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. And so the front desk said, Well, let me just tell you. That's nothing. I put my father on this program and he had multiple heart attacks. He is more healthy now than he was. He's off all of his medications. He's, he's active. He goes on hikes with my mom. And I, I'm so glad that I get to keep my dad around. So guess what the front desk just did? The front desk, desk were skilled enough and they had the knowledge to reclose, reclose that patient. So that's what you need to have staff that 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 drink the Kool-Aid with you, that know, and they've had the experience and they know exactly what to do. Um, read all the training manuals. So we, we give out training manuals. I just had that in there from Plebridus. We have all the manuals. You need to be up on everything you're going to do. Take classes. Never stop learning. You know, make sure all staff is educated on everything, including supplements. And then again, attend ongoing training because there's always, you know, wherever you're at in the country, you, you always have to go to training and get continuing education. Now. Just make sure when you go, take your staff. Take your staff. They're going to learn something too, right? Take your staff. They're going to feel like it's a little vacation. Put them up in a hotel room somewhere, you know, for the Saturday, Sunday, you know, training that you're going to have. If you have to fly somewhere, fly somewhere. You know, you're invest in your staff. If you invest in your staff, they're going to stick with you. I have Linda. She's been with me for 18 years. I mean, what's up with that, right? You know, that's kind of cool. So plan your work, then work your plan. Plan what you would like to have happen when your business in regards to, to the products and programs. So let me know how I can help achieve your goals. You know, um, if you have any questions down the road. So remember, stress, pain, and illness are part of the journey of self-development. So you're going to go through some. You're going to go through some tough times, and especially in the last three years with this COVID thing. You know, 2019 was amazing, and all of a sudden 2020 happens. Like, what the heck happened here? You know, people didn't want to travel. I was having seminars, and now not seminars. People didn't want to come in the office for seminars. Um, we had to set the chair six feet apart. I mean, you know, all that crap. And so uh, finally, you know, things are having to kind of shift, reshift. So um, things can change. And that's why when, you, when you're working with people like Proactive, if, if, if a certain marketing thing does, is not working, well, step back and re-engage in something else. The philosophy is test, test, test. Because you may be in a market. Here's what I like. people. Well, this market doesn't work for me. Like if somebody said, well, yeah, uh, I'm trying to do whatever. But this, you know, people are the same no matter where they live. It's just, it's you're the problem. You're the problem because it's, it's a headspace thing. A lot of doctors have this thing called stinking thinking. Once you're educated, then you can educate your patients. Stress is a natural part of living from which there's no escape. However, we can distance ourselves from our troubles now and then. When making a lifestyle change, we can control our shit. Like working out, go work out, eat better, eat a good plant-based diet. You know, do the things that build you up. So no matter where you're at, you're going to have stress. But the healthier you are, the less stress physically you're going to have and it's going to show through to your patients stress jeopardizes the whole immune system 
So which, which in turn affects all the systems of your body. Like, so meditate, exercise, go outside, you know, time in nature, sleep well, go to bed earlier, like at nine o'clock and don't watch TV. Don't get on your phone. Because if you get on this blue, the, the blue screen, uh, it, it's going to affect your sleep. So read a book, take, you know, take a nice warm bath, um, get out there and connect, you know, socially eat better and then make lists, make goals, write down things that you need to do. Because if you're, if you're organized with what you need to do today, this weekend, then you'd have something to look forward to, not just for you, but the, for the whole staff. So we have, um, like I said, we have staff meetings and we go over the checklist. So every week we, uh, we make lists. We, we have reviews of testimonials from the week before, because if they get the best testimonial, um, the staff member gets like $25 worth of products that we sell. And they love that. They like to get some of the products, $25 worth of products for their best testimony. So invest in you. It's worth the effort. It really is worth the effort. So I've done a lot of things over the last 32 years and uh, you know, help a lot of people. And I hope this is going to help you somehow. And if you have any questions about anything, if you need some help, if you want to record uh, your closing sales technique, and if it's, if you're like, well, I need to re re record mine to see if it's working or not, record it and send it to me and I'll listen to it. And I kind of listen and kind of tell you how I would look at it a little bit different. So I get to do that with some of the doctors from Proactive. And then there's my uh, email. And then there's my local website that I use, Club Reduce Weight Neuropathy, if you want to look at that and see what I do. Other than that, it's worth the effort. And if you can't do it yourself, hire somebody that can.